Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is a general reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. It's going to be for any Scorpio placement, propensity, shrine, square, aspect. <laughs> any, any Scorpio energy that is irrelevant to you. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen in the video will all be on my website. Links are in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracle cards to give you a little bit more guidance for the week. The reading is aimed for July, but time is elusive. Whenever you are seeing it, that's when you are meant to. I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. Two cards out. What else do we have for Scorpio, please? Beautiful energy so far. Full circle energy is what I just heard. Full circle moment, either about to happen or has recently happened. Renewal energy could be dealing with some sort of family situation for some of you. Maybe a family member, a friend, someone you've known a very long time that you maybe have not seen in a while. Could be some sort of renewal. Or maybe just got old, right? Right? Not necessarily you haven't seen them in a long time, but putting like pumping life back into some sort of connection, or it could be a job with that Ten of Pentacles. But Ten of Pentacles is long-term energy. I'm also getting a vibe of needing to speak up. I just did Aries and their stuff was flying out. Needing to speak up, Scorpio. Or someone is about to speak up from you to you. Queen of Cups. Could be you. Could be dealing with another water sign. Cancer Spices or another Scorpio. Lots of water. Got some fire. One more card for Scorpio, please. What do they need to know? <clears throat> Hoping you like my little makeshift setup. Makeshift shift setup. Scorpio, you coming in strong. Showing up as your true self. Moving around, you know. Shake things up. This window view was, was calling to me. So, bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. Okay, I see what's going on here. Lack energy, lack mentality the lack of something my god this was not on the whole time i'm so sorry scorpio hopefully i'm gonna check back and see if you guys can hear me hopefully but five of pentacles here some sort of lack whether it's around money whether it's around relationships whether it it's just it's just it's just a whole vibration of mentality that we need to get rid of we need to work on this this could be you this could be someone else you are connected to energetically right best friend family member boyfriend whoever the dog someone's feeling lack someone's looking at the, gl at the glass half empty also an, an energy of um missing someone's presence i'm getting it more of like either you're missing someone's presence someone is missing your presence they're feeling alone they're feeling abandoned right past energies the ten of pentacles and the queen of cups whatever this is this was something that you saw lasting a very long time or if this is someone else to you this was something that was supposed to last a very long time. Someone saw it lasting a long time. They were hoping it would last a long time, but it maybe didn't. It is a 10 energy. Indicates endings as well. Or it could be a relationship that was art that has been you know, has been around for a while. Something that there was a lot of emotional investment into with the Queen of Cups there. Very, very loving person. Someone that has a lot of love to give. Someone that pours their love into what they love. <laughs> right? legacy energy as well with the ten of pentacles but going from the five all the way to the ten more like going from the ten to the five someone is definitely feeling less than without something or someone in their life your present energy is the ace of cups queen of wands two feminine energies here fire sign energy with the queen of wands aries leo or sag a renewal there is a renewal that is possible here that has possibility an opportunity for renewal maybe you're not seeing it maybe someone else is not seeing i'm noticing how this queen is not even looking at the cup this divine magical cup that's being presented that's that's lingering in her energy queen of cups is some queen of wands sorry someone very attractive very intuitive very creative magnetic undeniable irresistible the letter w or m could be significant to you as well so there is an opportunity for renewal here but it looks like you're ignoring it i feel like you're coming up as the queen of wands and whoever it is that you're dealing with may be coming up as the queen of cups or this could be the past energy you were in a more emotional space you were more emotionally open now not so much 
even though you know there might be an opportunity for renewal here you're, you're very much ignoring it you don't want to see it. you don't care or at least that's what you're telling your ego right that's what the ego is saying let's be real here the ego is saying i don't care i don't want it i don't care if that cup's just floating i don't care if this is the one this person hurt me something happened here to go from the 10 to the 5 whoever this is is still very much pining over it five of pentacles still very much in the feels and the universe is very much saying that listen the two of you want to fix this you can you can but these two feminines are representing uh, non-action energy feminines don't usually take action they usually sit back and wait for action to come towards them so the both of you whoever this is could be you and your best friend very much could these two look like they could be best friends right had an argument but you know you miss her she misses you but you ain't finna you ain't finna admit that she was wrong that's the queen of wands right she was wrong let that bitch drown no, i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking definitely one is missing and one is ignoring if this is not another feminine this is a masculine that's not taking any action you're not taking any action you're both in feminine energy of waiting to receive future energy the six of swords and your card scorpio major arcana death card yeah someone's gonna get tired of waiting that's what's about to happen here six of swords moving out of the troubled waters moving out of the emotional up and down wanting to move past this shit someone wants to move past this shit with you again we see multiple people in this card multiple people in that card even though they feel alone but they're together <laughs> they're alone but they're together right okay exactly wanting to move out of this sort of unsure emotional state wanting to transform the situation wanting to be authentic scorpio wanting to show up show your true self right extra card knight of swords yeah only a matter of time only a matter of time air sign energy air uh gemini libra or an aquarius fast movement fast communication someone's got some shit to say okay and they're gonna say it before you know they change their mind this could also be drunk texting but you know someone's got something to say and they're tired of not saying it so here they come they're gonna say it time to transform time to drop the ego this could also be death to ego because yeah it's too much it's too much yeah definitely very deep connection here six of cups nostalgic energy i think it's the queen of cups you could be rem reminiscent to whoever you come up as queen of cups or queen of wands but you're not reminiscing about it in the same way as this queen of cups the queen of cups is thinking of oh my god i should have been married to this person right <laughs> you're like hmm, they wrong they need to apologize i don't care if i miss them okay i'm gonna be in the ego so this could definitely be a, a death to your ego whoever is in the queen of wands if that's you in the queen of wands or there needs to be a death to the ego because you both share the, the Ten of Cups and the, the, the Ace of Cups. You both acknowledge this as, as a deep, something that someone that means a lot to you. And it's burdening, it's heavy to not be in connection. Whether you want to admit it or not, because we all know you won't. <laughs> Someone's watching though. Watching and waiting, that's what this says. Screams, watching and waiting. Actually came out like this. Watching and waiting. Sagittarius energy, more air sign energy. Someone's watching is waiting. They see you as a wife if this is a romantic situation. I saw the Empress underneath there. Okay, let's get a look at your potential. And then we will pull you some oracles if you choose if you choose to tap into it. That's what's waiting for you. Okay, cares how those sit now. What do we have for Scorpio? Lots of water. Time for healing. <laughs> Balsamic moon. A time for healing. Someone wants their friend back. Someone wants their girl back. Their man back. Do what you want to do, but that's just what that's just what the message is. This one flipped out. Curl spirit. Co-create with spirit number seventeen, which is an eight. Messenger energy with the bird. Someone is being guided to do this, so it's not even about you. There needs to be a death to your ego too. It's not even about you. Spirit is telling this person to communicate to say what they need to say so whether you want to listen to it or not that's none of your that's none of no one's business but spirit is telling this person to communicate to express to try and mend the bridge whether you choose to do it or not that's your business but that's just what this person's being guided to do you can't be mad at that right anyway scorpio that is your reading do with it as you may 
thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it resonates, and I will see you all next week.